Today we're going to help you understand aperture. Aperture is the reading on your lens often measured in f-stops. For cinema lenses it's measured in t-stops which is slightly different but the difference is minimal. So for this video let's just keep it to f-stops. So each number is a stop of light which is how we measure light. 2.8 to 4 is one stop. 4 to 5.6, one stop. 5.6 to 8, 8 to 11, etc. Basically, the higher the number, the less light you're letting onto your sensor. Adjusting your aperture does two things. It's physically closing the blade elements inside of your lens, which we call your iris. The higher the number, the more you're closing down those blades, so you're letting less light onto the sensor. So you'll get a darker image, but you'll also get less depth of field, which is to say whatever you're focusing on, more will be in focus on the background. You're lengthening the lens's focal field of view. The lower the number, the wider you're opening those blades, which is letting more light onto the sensor. That results in a brighter image, but also a shallower depth of field, which is how you get that nice, blurry background. A practical way to use f-stops as a measurement of light on your aperture is let's say you're shooting a bright sunny day outside. So to get the correct exposure, let's say you have to put your lens at an f11, but you want a really shallow depth of field. So let's say you want to shoot at an f4. Well that's a difference of three f-stops, or three stops of light. So to shoot at an f4, you'll want to put three stops of neutral density filters on your lens. This will keep your same exposure, but allow you to shoot at the f-stop that you want to shoot at. And that's f-stops. 